what's going on guys? Uh, I re recorded and posted a video yesterday, but it didn't have any audio on it. Uh, I just kind of wanted to make a updated video here today. Uh, just to include some audio, kind of describe what I'm doing, actually. Um, so, iOS 13 uh, adds mouse support for Apple's iPhone and iPod, um, which is a big step forward for games like RuneScape, uh, especially like old school RuneScape mobile. Uh, eventually, RuneScape 3, fingers crossed, whenever that finally comes out. Uh, anyway, really, RuneScape's a fantastic game for the mouse support on, on here, because the game's primarily just, it's all clicks. Um, and now granted, there is no right-click capability, because it's more of an accessibility feature. Uh, what you can do is still, the, basically the mouse acts as your finger, so when you click, it's a tap, uh, when you long hold, it's kind of like a right click almost. So, I mean, everything is still completely doable with the mouse. And I think a mouse and a keyboard really take this game in a new direction on mobile. Uh, it gives you kind of more of a desktop or a laptop experience without having to lug all that heavy stuff around. Um, primarily, like I'm recording this video on my iPad Pro 11 inch, uh, and it, it just works. It works really well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I really haven't tried too very much with it. Uh, right now I'm just kind of working on crafting, making a lot of gold bars, trying to make some money. Um, this is just kind of a... My old school account is is just because I can't play RuneScape 3 on iOS yet. Um, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy old school, but uh, I, I just kind of enjoy both, and I would like the luxury of being able to play both on mobile. But right now, since I can play old school RuneScape on the go, this is kind of my go-to. But anyway, so to, to look around, obviously you can't, um, on mobile, basically use your finger. It's kind of the same thing with the mouse, so click and drag, and you can move your camera around any which way you want. Um, uh, it, it's kind of unfortunate that with this scroll wheel, um, I'm not sure if you can zoom in and out, kind of like when you pinch like this. Uh, I'm obviously using my fingers there, but um, the mouse I'm currently using is the Apple Magic Mouse 2, just kind of for demonstration purposes. But um, I'm not sure if the scroll wheel will work for zooming in and out, or like you would be pinching in and out. Uh, there may be a customization that you can do um, in the settings. So you'd go to accessibility, and this is an iOS 13, the public beta one, but a touch, uh, assistive touch and then in here you have pointing devices uh, cursor and, and the iOS developer beta 3 actually uh, they made it to where you can change the cursor size so you can actually make it smaller or a lot bigger and you can also um, you can change it to all these different colors obviously um, and you can also change the uh, opacity when it's idle so when it's just sitting there it kind of dims out you can change that to whatever you want um, right off the bat, when you first connect a mouse through Bluetooth, uh, it, the tracking speed is somewhere around here. It's really, really fast, so I cranked mine down to here. It's just a comfortable uh, speed for me. You know, whatever works for you, you can just adjust it to your content. But So in here, right now, this mouse, I guess, has two buttons. Uh, if you're using, like, a Master MX2 or whatever, uh, the mouse have few more buttons and customizations but in here this is all the different options you can make uh, what the mouse clicks do so let's see here we yeah, have pinch so you can make uh, mouse click to pinch so you can pinch in and out with just a mouse I, I think it's just an added luxury and I think this is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to uh, I know I have been personally and every time I've searched on YouTube I've been trying to find a video where somebody's using a mouse on iOS 13 for RuneScape. And I think it's a lot of, it's something that a lot of tech reviewers, at least, they're touching on it, but they're not really going into depth with what it can do. Um, I mean, there's one guy I've seen that kind of did go over the fact that it is uh, a great addition for clicking games. You know, obviously they added uh, controller support as well for different games as well, but RuneScape's just not a game that a Xbox or a PS4 controller is going to be useful for. So having a mouse is going to be a great addition. You know, just set your iPad or your phone up and just kind of sit back with your mouse and just enjoy the game like you do on a desktop or a laptop, but in a more comfortable setting. 
uh, you know, you could just kind of lay back, kick back, and, and be a lot more comfortable maybe on the couch or something and not have to have this big bulky laptop on you and have a power cord connected all the time, you know. It's just a really nice luxury, and I'm really looking forward to what uh, Apple continues to do with mouse support and what even Jagex could do with the game uh, as far as mouse support is concerned. But um, anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer than it already has been, so that was just kind of a quick demo. Um, I mean, you can just click anywhere you want. It's, it's really helpful. You know, if you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave comments down below. I'll answer pretty much right away. And, um, you know, if there's anything you want to see me try with the mouse in iOS 13 on Old School RuneScape, uh, or any other game, for example, um, just feel free to let me know, and uh, I'll do the best that I can. Um, this particular account, uh, it's not got fantastic stats by any means, but, um, you know, if there's anything you're really interested in seeing, I can definitely can work towards it and uh, finally get a video up for you so you can see how it might work with the mouse support. Um, and I'll continue updating to the newer betas so I can, you know, stay on top of the new mouse um, settings that they introduced throughout the new betas up until the final release of iOS 13. Um, it'll be both uh, iPad OS 13 and iOS 13 for iPhones and iPods and um, things like that. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to kind of stay up to date on the whole mouse support on iOS 13. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.